Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export data from the Microsoft Teams sample apps. Now, if you're watching this tutorial, you probably already know what a sample app is. Microsoft released a series of them. They are built on the Microsoft Power Platform and they were really built to just demonstrate the power of the Power Platform and to showcase the extensibility of Microsoft Teams when you use the Power Platform to build apps for Teams. Mm -hmm. Now, there are a series of sample apps. There is the Milestones app, which is a lightweight project management tool. There is the Issue Reporting app, the Inspection app, the Bulletins app, Employee Ideas app, etc. Now, if you've not heard of or seen my tutorials on how to use these applications, I've included the links in the description below and you wanna make sure to subscribe to my channel as I will be publishing more tutorials as more sample apps are released. Now, before we get started with this tutorial, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to export data from a sample app, what you will need to do is you'll need to note the team that the app is installed in. So you can see here that I am currently in a team that's titled operations. And you can see here that I currently have the inspection app installed in this team. And you can see here that I have some inspection records that have been submitted. Now, for demonstration purposes, you can also see that I have the Milestones app installed, which again is another sample app and is essentially a lightweight project management tool. The process to export data from the sample apps is the same. It does not differ depending on whether you're trying to export data from the Inspections app, the Bulletins app, or the Milestones app. Now, what you'll need to do is you will actually need to add Power Apps to Teams. So you can see here on the left app bar that I have already added Microsoft Power Apps to my Microsoft Teams app. Now, if you don't have this icon, what you need to do is click into the More Added Apps button and search for Power Apps, and then you'll actually be able to just click on it and add it to your Microsoft Teams. Now, when you add this for the first time, it is gonna give you some prompts, so you wanna just review that and click through. Now, when you actually click into Power Apps, what you're going to see is a list of the apps that have been installed in the various teams that you're a member of. Now, when it first loads, you're going to notice that it just shows a Home tab, and then eventually it's going to also show a Build tab. So you wanna go ahead and click on that Build tab. Now what you can see again is a list of teams that you're a member of. So I am going to select the operations team that has the inspections app and the milestones app installed. And then you want to go ahead and click on the installed apps tab. This is going to show you the sample apps that you have installed. And so you can see here, I have the milestones app installed in this team, the inspections app, and the issue reporting app. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to export data from the inspections app, but again, the process is identical irrespective of which app you want to export data from. Next, you want to click on see all, and this is now going to show you a list of all of the different components that are part of this app. So you can see here, there are a series of tables and then there's actually a series of components which are the Canvas applications, the user interface, the screens, et cetera. On the left-hand side, again, you can see a categorized list of the different components. What you want to do is click on Tables, and this is now going to show you a list of the tables that this app uses as part of its operation. So, what you'll also want to do when exporting data is you want to make sure you review Microsoft's architecture information. They actually publish a post that outlines how these apps are architected in terms of what tables exist in the app, and what information is stored in each table. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and click through the different tables. Now, to make it easy for you, what I've done is I've also included the links to the various architecture posts that are published by Microsoft 
for the different sample apps in the description below. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export the area inspection table. Now, this is sort of the base table for inspections that are actually performed through the inspection app. And what you want to do is you wanna go ahead and click on more commands. And once you click on this, you're gonna see this option that says edit data in Excel. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see that a file has downloaded. Now you wanna go ahead and open that file. Now you can see here MSFT underscore area inspection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Now you can see here that this Excel file is blank and that there is a prompt at the top of Excel that says protected view. What you want to do is go ahead and click on enable editing. And what this is going to do is this is now going to ask you to add the Microsoft Power Apps Office add-in. So you wanna go ahead and click trust this add-in. And you can see here that the Excel spreadsheet has now populated with information from that table from the inspections app in Teams. Now a quick note, after clicking trust this add-in, what you're going to be prompted to do is to actually sign in with your Microsoft account that you use to access Microsoft Teams and to access the application. So you wanna go ahead and make sure to log in and then you're going to see the add-in update and the data actually pull through to Microsoft Excel. Now this Power Apps Office connector actually allows you to dynamically view the data. So you can actually click into the different cells and it's going to allow you to view things like the different options in drop-down fields. So you can see here the inspection status. And if I look on the right in this add-in pane, you can see here uh, the different possible statuses, pending review, pending action, closed, incomplete, etc. Now you'll notice that I can actually change this data uh, and it's also going to change the corresponding status in the cell that I'm in. Um, I've tested saving this and in my test, I wasn't actually able to see these changes pass back through into the application. Um, so that's something to consider. If you do test it and it does update back in the application, please drop a comment so that everyone else can uh, be sure to stay on top of that development. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly close out of this and I'm just not going to save this here. And what I'll do again is I will just quickly demonstrate how to do this for a different application. And this time I'll just do it for the milestones application. So again, from the build tab in Power Apps in Teams, you wanna click on installed apps in the team that your app is installed in. Here I'm gonna click on see all under the milestones app. Next, I'm going to click on tables. And then from here, you have a list of all of the different tables that this app uses. In this case, I'm going to try to export a project and I'm gonna click on the three dots, which is the more commands button. And I'm gonna click on edit data in Excel. And it's going to go ahead and download that file. And again, once the file is open, you wanna click on enable editing. And you can see here that as soon as the add-in loads, that the data will populate to the spreadsheet. Now, if you do want to export this data to Excel for the purposes of archiving, what you can do is just save a copy of this information and then close out of this file completely. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to export data from the Microsoft Teams sample apps to Excel. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Iacoballos, thanks for stopping by, talk soon.